Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today we're going to try out the new tumbler basket from Kamado Joe's Jotisserie basket set. Uh, we're going to do some chicken wings. That's what a lot of people like to do with this, so let's get started. I've got my wings separated and I've got them in a mixing bowl here and I'm going to season these guys today with some of the Atlanta Grill Company Honey Barbecue Wing Zing and to start with I'm just going to take about a tablespoon or so of the wing zing I'm going to toss that in there and I'm just going to give these guys a toss to get them nice and evenly coated with that wing zing and I may add an additional tablespoon of this and once I get that, I actually added two more tablespoons of that. I wanted to get a good, nice coating of that wing zing on here. And I've got them evenly coated. And I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator uncovered and let those marinate in that flavor for an hour or two. All right, I've got my Kamado Joe Classic fired up. And I've had these wings in the refrigerator for a couple hours. I'm just going to dump those guys in our rotisserie basket and I'm going to close the basket and latch it and let's go get the rack in the basket in the grill. I'm going to try to run this grill at a dome temperature of about 350 ish somewhere uh, 325 to 375 400 it doesn't really matter just somewhere in that range so I'm going to set our rack in place and then we'll put our basket on and latch it in place and then we'll crank the rotisserie up and let that guy start to tumble there I think that's gonna do pretty well so let me uh, drop a little piece of wood in here and get a little smoke rolling and we'll close it up let those guys tumble and it's probably gonna be about a 45 minute cook I guess we'll come back and look We've been going about 45 minutes here, so I am going to take a peek inside this basket, see what these guys look like, and it looks like I probably need to let them go a little longer, so let's just have a look here. I'm going to flip this basket open. Yeah, we're going to let those continue to go, so we'll be back shortly. okay we've been going about just a little over an hour here now and these wings are starting to look about like i like them so when that thing comes back around here we're going to give it a stop i'm going to take those wings off and we're going to have a closer look at them and i'm going to sauce them as well so that guy's about back to position here that thing's coming back around here. It looks like I've got a couple sticking in the basket there. We'll have a look at that too. That's supposed to be a non-stick coating, but I also ramped my temperature up a little bit here towards the end of this cook. So I'm going to have a look there. I got a couple of those guys stuck in the top of the basket. Well, that one, that's not too bad. Those look pretty good. So I'm going to take those off here and we're going to have a closer look. 
Okay, I've taken these out and uh, we'll have a little bit closer look. These things are still really hot. Uh, the skin on these wings is about as crispy as I would expect from a basket cook. These, uh, these are really hot. They've got a little bit of crispness to them. They're not extremely crispy and they are not as crispy as I get when I do like a slow roller cook at 400 or 425. The fact that these wings are self basting and rotating in that basket actually inhibit the process of uh, crisping up that skin a little bit. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to toss these guys in just a little bit of barbecue sauce because that's what I like to do. I've also warmed this barbecue sauce up. You don't want to put cold sauce on hot wings unless you're planning to put them back in the grill. So I'm going to toss these things around here a little bit. Guys, you're going to have to give this a try. Try out this basket. Uh, this looks pretty good. I haven't taken it apart yet to clean it, but I, it's got real smooth edges. It comes into two pieces. I don't foresee any problems there. So come back next time. Uh, we're going to do something in the flat basket attachment for this. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet, but when I do, I'll bring you along. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Atlanta Grill Company.